Not sure if you can hear it on here. Birdie is still up. It's nearly midnight and he's still going. Stimming, banging on the walls. And I'm trying to stick around as long as I can. I still gotta do the laundry, the dishwasher, all this other stuff. Oh, it's exhausting. Their mom's trying to sleep, but I know this is probably getting her. And on top of it, Beckham still up, he's laughing. It's literally quarter to 12. I advise anybody with special needs kids do not ever not have melatonin available. The gummies. <laughs> Dishwasher going. Both of these things. Yeah. Oh. You're still awake, how are you still awake? It's one o'clock in the morning, dude. Go to bed. Let's plug this in. Let's plug this in somewhere. Oh god, we lost the block. Where's the block? Where's the block? God damn it, I got it, god damn it. How'd you roll over? Go to bed, it's one o'clock in the morning, Brody. I'm exhausted, bud. Ching. Good night. Love you. Sweet dreams. You were very loud tapping, you were a drum master then. Let's uh, turn all these lights off. Where's the goddamn remote? Oh, we get, get, get. Okay. Good night. so much I gotta go girl I might just sleep here though it's literally it's too late dude I'm tired it's about the rain you know what I mean girl what am I doing dude? what am I supposed to do boo boo well, well we got the dishwasher running we got all the boo boos we got the, the hairless one here yeah fun go oh boy I am exhausted man now I gotta walk a mile it's about the rain and then come back in the morning, 10.30 in the morning. So unnecessary. This is how I keep my sanity with the news and wrestling. I mean, I don't know what to say anymore. I mean, thankfully when school starts, it'll be a little easier. It's just Beckham's behavior. But then on top of Birdie staying up all night, it's just, it's exhausting, man. And I know mom's sleeping, it's fine. That's fine with that, because I guess you guys are gonna work, man. But uh, as I keep going through these special needs groups and stuff, and like other parents going through stuff, it, it literally destroys families. It's, it's tough, man. 
uh, hold down the best I can, but sometimes I'm just like, you know, what the shit, dude? Like, I'm tired, like... <laughs> but I, mean, I think mom's at the point where it's like, just sleep here, stay here, because it's... But this whole thing I went through with the court and all that stuff, it just it boggles my mind. <laughs> I was legally, I legally do not live here anymore. You jacked up in the house. And Rebecca, if you ever see something, I'm sorry, but it's just like, it boggles my mind. Like, we have disabled kid. And another one that's on the verge of possibly being legally disabled. I don't know. I'm tired, man. And you get to sleep, and now I gotta do this, but again, I don't have to be back until 10 30. So I get at least a good eight, nine hours of sleep. But once I start school, it's gonna be a lot easier. But um, as it get bigger, stronger, someone's gotta do it. And I will. I will continue to do it. But I gotta work on a way to get paid to do it because the government doesn't want to pay they'll give you a thousand dollars a month or two grand a month to take care of your kids especially these kids and i will it was today was uh exhausting and i can't bring them outside I will, i'm not gonna lie i'm exhausted i'm tired man but i'm gonna still sit here i don't care i don't care at this point like it, i don't think mom cares but i'm gonna sit out here until i want to go Probably another 20 minutes or 30 minutes or so. Watch the rest of this, this match. Oh, with Darby Allen and Stig. Fun fact, I have interviews with Darby Allen when he was at GCW, uh, sleeping in Teddy Hart's car. And just to see the success of these guys in the mainstream. So it's just, anyway, I'm wrong, but Beckham. Beckham is the reason for the exhaustion. His behavior, I don't know if he'll never think, but he's so intelligent. I guess it was the most high functioning. He is so smart and he destroys me and busts my balls. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, boys. Go to bed. I'll see you at 10 30 tomorrow. <sighs> Life. Well, did I say I'm about to leave now? Brody's banging around. I said, oh, Brody's still awake. He's banging around big time out there. Not his head, but he's banging around. Bedtime, buddy. Everybody go to bed. I'm eat go to bed. And the child is still awake up there. He's wide awake, dancing around. Good night. All right. So after a fun, lovely night of stress, Beckham greets me with "Good morning." Good morning. I don't know if it's such a good morning. Getting not much, getting much sleep here. How you doing, buddy? All right, so nothing's done. Dad's got to do everything as usual. Okay, let's get you some. You keep grabbing these. I'll give you a couple. You want to stim with them? Is that what it is? They're not, you're, I don't know if you'll eat them. They're old, buddy, but you can eat them. They're pistachios. But these are really difficult. Look, explore one first, okay? You have to take the center out. You have to break the outer shell off, and then you eat the inside, okay? Help. Yeah, I know, you're a mess. You're running down the stairs with the tablet in your hand, and you're tripping over the wire. Look how tangled it is. Okay, I'll get it. Give me a second here. This is what you eat. So you're eating the shell. This is the food. This is the shell. This is trash. Eat that. That's the food. Eat it. You keep grabbing these things, okay? I'm trying to show you what they are. I'm sure you would like them if they're fresh. These are old. Okay, eat. Eat it. Show me. If you eat it, I'll give you them. Yeah, gay. Yeah, exactly. I know. They're not really that great, okay? Let's get you some breakfast. Unfortunately, you have to wait a minute because you didn't plug it in, okay? 265, uh-oh, and then the brother's back in the pantry again. All right, leftover mac and cheese. Hopefully grocery order comes through today. Yeah, I know, buddy, it's hot, be careful. 
How you doing? You just can't seem to sit still. No, I'm not going to the pantry again for the same nonsense that you keep doing. There is nothing that, no, no, this is no. We're done in there. Let's do this. So let's have to turn it on and off, but you gotta let it charge a little bit. You gotta let it charge a little bit. It's not ready to be used. That's the problem. You should have kept it plugged in. You gotta learn to keep it plugged in. I was half asleep and I'm gonna last. I'm pretty sure it was, wasn't plugged in. It was, I don't remember. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. Okay, stay. Okay, it's a, stay in our seats, please. Okay, we're just both gonna go over there. There he's got baseball on over here for some reason. I don't know what's going on over here. <sighs> Kids, man. Ah, uh, the usual. As soon as I walk to the garage to do something on the computer, where does Brody go? He took the spaghetti and went upstairs with it. I was just like, oh crap, the macaroni and cheese. That's what I was really just concerned with. Thankfully, he didn't get that. Uh, I was doing something on the computer with the uploading of the kids' videos, taking my vitamins since I've been doing these three times a day instead of one. I've noticed I feel a lot better. All right, but what do you want? Okay, let's not push this over the edge and break it. I understand you don't want to eat it. Groceries are coming at 12, apparently, okay? You gotta wait. I don't know what to tell you, kid. If you don't want that, I'm not giving you Cheerios again so your brother can throw them over the house. What do you want to eat? What? What would you like to eat? Speak up. Talk louder. What do you want? Talk. I don't know the mimicking. You're getting peanut butter and jelly. All right, so peanut butter and jelly it is. Basically, almost lunch now. It's 11 15. What do we say? Speak clearly. Thank you, Dad. You're welcome, son. Good job. This is, yes. Okay. This one over here. I don't even want to go up there and see the mess you made up there with the spaghetti. And if you take my hand and bring me to the pantry one more time, no, no, there is no pantry. No, not yet. Once again, it's this old video. Back when he was putting on. He's happy. He almost had a meltdown because he wants food, but food's coming. He wants something else. I don't know what he wants. He'll show me. Wait till you eat that so brother doesn't throw it all over the house. Good job. This is yes. Making more art. Apple TV, huh? You're a smart kid. That's cool. Apple TV. Is that their new patent design? <laughs> well, you know, there's going to be a whole trail of things that you can tell where Brody's been. The spaghetti, again, I'm not concerned with because he doesn't pick it all up. But it's ridiculous that he does it. This is no, this is no, this is no. I just, I'm so tired of it. I don't know what to do. It just never stops. You can't keep an eye on him 24 seven, you know? We got some old video, a painting video. My friends came by this night. <sighs> you know. Hey, I need you to eat your spaghetti. Don't start grabbing on me, boy. What do you want, Monsters Inc? Oh, here we go already with the Monsters Inc. Not even noon yet. How you doing, buddy? Yeah, <laughs> you have so much energy. You were up so late last night, like one. Okay. Let's not break the blinds. Okay, let's put these out. Okay, here I go. This is the last blinds in the house that I'm broken. Okay. How you doing? It might be nice out today. I don't know. We'll see. It's very cloudy. It was muggy out. It's humid. Rain's all on the ground. So I don't know. The bugs will be out like crazy. We got songs. Yeah, man. You were up till one something in the morning last night. I don't know how because he didn't nap. So that means he was up for like 16, 17 hours. <laughs> Daddy's gonna put on a new movie, see if you can get into it. Elemental. I heard it's really good, okay? It's a Disney movie, obviously. Hopefully he will enjoy it. Disney 100. I still gotta finish Indiana Jones today. And it's Pixar, so you know it's gonna be good. Oh, this is a peaceful start. I like this. Oh, that's very peaceful. Oh, speaking of peaceful. Yeah, we're watching a new movie, Elemental. Yeah, we're gonna try to at least, okay? Brother and I. Are you gonna sit with brother and watch it with me? It's peaceful, huh? Look at those guys. Don't they look cool? They're fire. What do you think? You like this? So far, happy boy? Got your tablet plugged in. Make sure it's plugged in. Oh, this is a really cute movie so far. All the elements. Oh, he's saying peaceful with it. It's getting me staring at it, man. I'm liking it. Yeah, this is a good movie, right? This is cool. 
Good job. 30 minutes in, he's still watching it. So this might be a hit for us. I'm really liking it too. Groceries are here, though. I gotta go get the groceries. You can either stay here or come with me. I'm gonna trust you, okay? I hid my laptop under the bed. Hopefully he doesn't find it. Well, what are you doing? Are you being a good boy? Oh, you didn't finish your peanut butter and jelly? Don't you want to eat the rest of this? Man, this could have been all over the house. You good when you watch your music videos and stuff? Oh, that's an ad. You good? Groceries are here. You rocking? It's a cat video. <laughs> what is this? What are you watching? That's horrifying. My son, man. <laughs> Alright, pretty sure the groceries are here though. Let's check here. Oh, the times we live in. Isn't my favorite groceries just delivered to your household? Can't imagine taking these kids to the grocery store right now. <laughs> Do you want to help me? You keep saying bubbles, but we're going to get groceries first, okay? Wait. Bubbles? Don't run off on me. All right, I got these. Beckham's ran off. I'm, I swear to God, if he's in there changing the channel on his brother or changing this, I'm going to kick his butt. Like, you have no idea. I'm so tired of it. Can you stop? Help me with the groceries. Leave him alone. He's at peace. Leave him alone. He's watching a movie. I'm downstairs with Dad. No, because I know you. Huh? No, we're not doing that. I'm putting groceries away. You're trying to do all these things at once. He wants to go out. I'm like, you know, let me do what I got. No, stop. Ugh. You're in the closet. Get out of the closet now. Get out. Out. Again, I, I can't ever just leave you alone, ever, boy. Get out now. Get out. I'm bringing, come up here to bring you an apple. You're in the closet messing it all up. Get out. Thank you, son. Ripping up matches, all this stuff. Come on, Brody. Like, no, this isn't okay. Like, you are so destructive, child, both of y'all. I can't ever just do anything. I should have, I, I was trusting you. I came up and checked you were fine, but now you messed up everything for me. Come on, man. Dump my clothes out. All this nonsense. No, man. Thanks. Now I got to hang all those back up, too. Thanks. Thanks, Brody. Thank you. All right. No big deal. Fix that. I mean, like I said, this isn't my place in the bed. Just throw some stuff in there. But as long as my laptop doesn't bro isn't broken. And the TV's still standing. We're good. You, you Speaking of standing, you're ready. You're going to fall, bro. Sit down. This is now. The window right there, this is now, man. Brody, sit. Sit. I need you to sit. This isn't a surfboard. Sit down. Sit. This is not okay. It's dangerous, dude. Don't do that. You, they put something in the bag that doesn't belong there. I have to go put it back out front. Please, don't mess up the room again. I only need two minutes. That was fun unlocking. We had one spaghetti sauce in there and one in the pantry. So apparently that wasn't supposed to be in order, but I don't know, whatever. This is, yes, good job. You're being a good boy. Thank you. No. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, where's he at? Please tell me you're not in the closet again. Yo, my man, what is it with you and just trying? You're getting there again. I said no. Get out of there. Get out. Again, you don't listen to me. It's not funny. I said to not do it, and you did it again. At least the hangers aren't all knocked all over. Yeah, look, the credits are on. You almost made it through the whole movie. You only wandered away a couple times. I think this is a new hit for you. I gave Beckham the key, and he put it on the counter. It's a good job, bud, yes. Because he wanted to go in the closet, but I didn't want to come all the way down here. Because Birdie, I keep even Birdie on, and Birdie does bad things. Hi, closet boy. You good? Okay, just making sure you're okay. What do you want? You want to eat again, right? You're hungry. I know you got food all over the house. Hold on, let's go to the fridge. The pantry, yeah, there's new, there's stuff there now. You didn't even know there's food that came. Come on, let's go. Let's let you see what you want to eat and throw all over the house. This is one of those times that stuff has magically appeared there now. Yeah, I did the life for you. Oh, he's like, what is all this stuff? What you got? We got wheat thins. You got some of the pretzels. You got the potato chips. Wheat thins, I knew it. All right, let's go. We we wheat thins. Let's get you some milk, too. My man Brody, look, we got milk, too. We got a cow. The cow gave you some milk. There you go. You got to stop dragging the thing around. Plus, you're going to get it around your neck here, bro. That's how you break these things. You got to unplug it at one point, you know? You just leave it here. Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Who is it? The brother Brody, you're wrapped up, bro. It's around your body parts here. You know what I mean? Wait, wait. Beckham, you're sitting on the court. It's not Beckham. Oh my lord, child. Child, look at what are you doing here, son? The you know, next thing you know, you're gonna have this wrapped around your neck. You're gonna be one of those kids that accidentally does that. You know what I mean? What are you doing, bro? 
Ay, 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 you gotta do everything. Hey, move your arm. Move your arm. Move your other arm. There you go. There you go. Get it all. Yeah, there you go. Thank God it's got six feet. All right. Lazy day today. What would you like to drink? Milk. Milk. Good job. What you doing over? What's this thing? What is this, man? Hey, what's that? What am I? Play kids? I'm a play kids? What is that, man? What is this thing? What are you doing on there? 355 out in the head. Oh, that's right, because you got you switched your food here. It's a peanut butter and jelly. Yeah, we got to use some insulin, son. All right, this one is empty. We got to get a new pen out. Let's do a new pen here for the back step. All right, my brave son. You ready? We got to get you some insulin here, buddy. No. I know. I'm sorry. It's okay. You're brave. Yeah, I yeah, know. Ready? Fresh pen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, it's probably really cool, huh? Good job. It's so brave. It's so strong. Are you kidding me right now? I hear water being dumped out. You're filling up water and dumping it in the same spot on the carpet. Why do you keep doing this? Let me guess. Beckham had a hand in it helping. Why do you allow him to do this? No, it's not funny. You're supposed to tell me when he does these things. That cup was put away. You took it out of the cabinet or the dishwasher. This is no. He's dumping so much water up there, it's going to get moldy and gross. Stop allowing it to happen. You're supposed to be my helper. Damn it. I mean, it says water, but like, it's so frustrating with this refrigerator spout and the ice. <clears throat> this is no. I heard you dump a whole cup here again. You know, we can't open these windows to let it air out in here. It's awful because you kids will go right through the windows. I mean, I have bars for them. I'm eventually going to put them, but they'll push the screens out too. It's just always something, man. You just, you can't win. It's like you're in a little prison in here. What I want to know is what is this too, though? It's like this residue dust that I keep seeing all over the place here. Like, what is that? I don't know. It's just like a powder form. I don't know where it's coming from, but I keep finding it all over it. The kid's doing something again. I swear to God, I forgot I just left this open. Again, you're in the closet again, and my laptop's in here. No, you got to get out. Get out. You have the chance to stay here with me. You keep running back and forth. It's not funny to me. Now I got to go clean that up and absorb that water a little bit with, with a towel. It's like all they do is misbehave. It's all he does all day is throw food around the house and throw water around everywhere. I can't stand it, man. School place start already. This is now. You better eat every single one of those. Do not throw food on the trampoline, Brody. This is now. All right, that makes me feel a little better here. Just tidying up, making sure there's nothing dangerous in here for him. Spaghetti's the only thing really in here. It's not a big deal. He's going to eat it all. These simple wet carpets have really agitate me and your mother. And I can't blame her because it's so frustrating to walk with bare feet and you step in that. You got to be my helper, man. You can't be letting him do all this stuff. Where did you go? All right, all right you're over there. It's all right. Remember, don't open that window, though, again, like you did yesterday. Okay, remember not to open this like you did yesterday, okay? This is fine, but don't open the window. This right here is no, though. It's soaking wet on the floor over here again because you guys like to play water park in your house. It's, it's ridiculous. You got to stop doing this. This is no. Stop messing with the fridge. Unless you're drinking water, don't touch it. We don't just take full cups and dump them on the carpet. <laughs> <laughs> you putting on your own show? <laughs> You're gonna start going live, huh? Oh, Dad's in your video. Have fun. Okay. I was coming out here to see what if we can go out or not. I don't know. Of course, I know. I knew he was gonna be up to no good. It's fine. You're gone. Good job, buddy. My stimming boys. Good job. Just don't let your brother get a hold of it. You gotta be careful when you climb up here, though, man. You're gonna spit on that. Ah, packing even more right here. Oh boy. Oh boy. Crazy kids. It's hot out there, guys. I don't think we're going. It's really humid out today. I gotta go uh, drain the pool. It's it's disgusting. It's all like yellow and stuff. But uh, yeah, we're not gonna go out there. Oh, you got the key down and everything, man. I guess he's pushing the chair, the stool over, or he's throwing things up there. But he definitely knows what he's doing. No stopping this child anymore. What are you drawing? You said mommy muma. What's that mean, mommy muma? Mommy muma. 
Is that mommy right there? <laughs> what is that? What'd you write over here? You go to town, buddy. I just don't want him to destroy it, man. I gotta sit here with you. You gotta remember to turn this off or keep it plugged in at least. Okay, right, where's it at here? 80, 28%. Yeah, man, you gotta turn the screen off, bud. What's the point of leaving it on if you're not on it? You're obsessed. Yeah, go plug it in. Go plug it in at the counter. Good job. Here, I'll help. Right there, yeah, you're gonna draw and do all the stuff. Okay, good job. Plug it, give me a plug, I'll plug it in. Let's keep it plugged in. We don't want that to happen today. Okay, which one, do you, how many do you want though? So you want some wheat thins? We just, I don't think wheat thins, we just had a whole box of them already gone. You can have these two, but no more wheat thins. Here, you had enough of these. Just eat those. Then I'm gonna make you dinner soon, okay? No, I cannot believe your brother is such. No, no. get up. Get out. Stop dumping water all over the furniture and the floor. Get out. Goodbye. Oh, all right, I cleaned up the room from the messes that was happening in, in that bedroom. Let's um, go downstairs and get you some water with these cups. Okay, feet boy. Hey, come on. Come on, I'll get you water. Let's see if we we'll change some outfits, maybe too. How you doing over here? You getting a little art studio going here? Let's be careful with the couch. See, it's not really a writing area, buddy. And again, you literally, I'm getting that situated. And you run over and take, give me the cup now. Give me it. Give me it. Look at you. You're unbelievable. Unbelievable. This is now. This is now. I literally, it's 30 seconds. I still have to talk to your brother. And you run over there and take that stuff. Unbelievable, man. Savages, man. Savages. Oh, I guess I'm not changing it. Come sit. Fresh outfit. Dinner's on the table. Sit. Sit, please. I know you're just going to get up and throw it all over the house, but, you know, what are you going to do? You better be drinking that milk and not dumping it all out, please. Mom, if you see this on the screen, please put the two diapers on them in the morning when you get them up, when they're at the house. I get it, though, because I think she thought I was going to take them outside, but it's too humid out today. That's why I got to change them already, already leaking. I thought they had two on them. Why are you getting up? Where are you going? You're going right to the pantry for other things I don't want you doing now, because most of the stuff you take from here, you shred out and throw all over the house. No, learn to not do that. Come on. I'm so sick of this. You pulling down the back of your pants. You got shit all over you. Again, every time, man. Where did he just go? Did you take the milk or spaghetti? What did you take? You'd rather eat this over here instead of eating at the counter, right? Of course, that's so strange. <laughs> like, you, you have poop all in the back of you. You're the one that stinks over here. Brody, this is yes, you eat here. This is not. I don't know how to stop the child. I can't. With another child around, it's like impossible. With the poop all over him. Stop. 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 Yeah, you're jumping up and down with duty all on the side of you, down the back of you. Thanks. Oh, and I shut this because of you, Brady, so I can't just throw the diaper away. Thanks, buddy. Thank you. All right, you go sit. This has already got poop on it. Oh, duties. Brody's. 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 Duties, 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 duties everywhere. You want pizza? Pizza? Yes or no? Pizza? I gotta wash my hands. 151. Okay. Hey. You're welcome, son. Pizza. Cheese bread. So he likes just plain. You're gonna eat or what? Because I gotta watch you eat because of brother. This is easier so it's not messy. Make them in the sandwiches. Brody's chilling over there, but we're gonna watch the eating session here with Beckham. So we don't have that all over the hallway. I'm not worried about that. It's already everywhere. Yeah. Hey, you're eating on a tray. What's wrong? You okay? What happened? You hurt your teeth? Your teeth probably, right? When you bit into it? Okay. You're okay? Ice. Ice, okay. Okay, where's it hurt? On your head or your eye or your mouth? Your eye. It's his eye again. I'm happy to have milk again, huh? I bet. Yeah, milk's good stuff, man. I know I haven't had it in a couple of years. What's up in here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job, brave boy. So brave. Is this delicious? You like this yummy? I know you like plain stuff, man. Cheese and butter. All right, everything's locked up. Sinks off. We've got everything you need here. I want to go sit down. I want to lay down and watch TV, okay? Uh oh, candy videos. I just showed him a bag of Skittles on there. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh, Skittles. What are you just looking out the window? 
I know it is a it's cloudy sun comes out a little bit it's just not a good day to go out we got a lot of days coming up reminder this is no this is no all soaking wet this is no stop doing this please see again the spaghetti is not that big of a deal I don't mind it because it doesn't turn into little grains of dust I don't mind the spaghetti and everything else just crumbles you know what I mean like the last thing I want to do is clean up you know sand in a house is basically what it is when he crumbles the food up and he does it with put it on back on sandwiches with the bread when it's toasted Hopefully he doesn't do that. He'll probably come running up here with me. Brody, do you want to come upstairs and watch TV with daddy? You want to watch movie, Monsters Inc. or Elemental? Come on. Let's check on them, make sure they're behaving. She left them down there for a little while now. Well, you're finally going over to eat? Again, with the kid. Yo, again, you're not understanding the misbehaving antics you're doing right now. You're in the windowsill and the couch is ripped up. You got milk on the couch, don't you, over here? Is that what I see over here? What is this? What is this? Yeah, milk. I'm like, I, I should have known. I can't trust you guys for shit. I can't leave you alone. Evan Brody, where are you going? It's Brody with the water and the milk. You're running up here to that room to dump water on that goddamn couch from the bed. Brody, where are you? Get out of here. Get out. Get out. Give me this. Give me this. Go to your room. I had enough of you. Get out. Go to your room. Goodbye. Go spend some time alone while I go clean up milk off a couch. Again, I can't leave you alone. You're not to be trusted anywhere. I'm sick and tired of you. Got water all under there, too. Stay in here for a little while. You think it's funny, too, to do this with him? You think this is funny? This is funny to do all this? The couch cushions is one thing, but the milk? Look at this. Come here, look. Come here, look. Yeah, you're damn right it's no. This is not, no, it's not funny to me. Oh, my God, man. I don't know what to do with you two. This is where I would spank the crap at you, but I don't feel like it. It's just not helping. This is no. This is going to make people sick in this house. It smells. Don't do this stuff. Oh, I'm so tired of this. It's just like constantly, like you gotta babysit constantly. It's, it's not fair to me. It's, it's exhausting. I can't ever just sit on the laptop. I was looking for tea, trying to find the best price tea. You know, it's like just one thing after another with the chill. Like this is now, straight up guys. You should damn well know better than this, Brody. And where are you at? Yeah, you were in that room, huh? What were you doing in here? Messing with my laptop, right? Oh, wonderful. You got all the things open that I don't want open. Get out of your room. Goodbye. Goodbye. 5.30, you can go stay in the room for a while. I need you to wait for me. You're not listening to me. You're misbehaving. Pick up this. Pick this up. Look, don't drag it around. Pick it up. You're dragging around. It's going to break. Stay in here. You're both in a timeout for now. I'm sick and tired of doing this with you guys. You don't listen to directions. You need to stay in here. Bye. Don't hit the door. It's timeout. Five minute timeout. Stop. Look. I want to give them time out so they get to stop to stop this freaking nonsense. And there it is. See, like again, it just literally messes with me. I'm so sick of time. Can't take it anymore. It's just all they do. What do you do in this situation? Because I have no idea. I have no idea what to do. I got to give in, open the door, because it's just going to break the door down. It's funny, back home. Real funny. It's real funny to mess with me like this all the time. Real funny. I'm having a blast. Now I got to mess with this computer. He broke my last computer with PC. I hope he's in. Do something else on it. He always does bad crap on these things. It's just, it's always Brody. It's Brody with the messes with the food. There's got to be like, uh, there's a problem when perform care was here. We couldn't get him to stop. He just doesn't stop. Outside, inside, no matter what. He needs to be in a designated area when he eats, but that, it's a problem. It causes him to have meltdowns. He bangs his head. Like if I had a bit of height chair strapped in or some kind of chair where he can't get out until i say so he, he he's the kind of kid that needs that like it's it's getting out of hand like i <laughs> i don't even know how to say it anymore i i can't stop him from doing it it's just food every every week i'm cleaning it up every day i'm cleaning it up and then once a week i try to do it all you know it's just a ridiculous thing to deal with every day you can come out now see you're a good boy you're sitting there behaving but you know what you did was wrong you can't dump milk on the couch like that come on come on man come on you can get up now so you listen when you know when you're bad. Your brother doesn't. He just runs off and kicks doors and stuff. You can't do that with the milk, though. I turned the TV off. I was hoping to get peace and quiet. I mean, this is all wet. I'm afraid if you sit here, you're just going to get all wet again, Brody. You know, it's like I, I can't keep up with you, bud. I don't know what to do with you. Just go from place to place, trash in the house. With food and water. Yeah, really. Like, this is all wet here. What am I supposed to do with you? You don't get any more milk. That's for sure. What's this one doing? Is he, is he being good now? Come have a seat at the table. Okay. Where'd you go? You're in the closet, right? You're in here. Where did he go? Back on. Where's the other one at? Oh, you're over here. 
we're gonna look at, I got that door open again. Sorry, real time stuff. So they learn. <sighs> God, I hate stepping in that wet spot. It's so gross. What do you do? You're going right to the closet again after I just cleaned it all up because you trashed it. Yeah, look, it's nice and clean now. Fix the mattress thing. Everything's back to normal for the most part. Look at a little space. Paintings. There's trash. Got there, a broken tablet. Isn't that nice? It's much better. It was bothering me. Did you want to have ripped everything to crap? Like I said, I can't win. Yeah, there, you can do that on your feet. Hopefully you don't sit on it. He'll sit there. Then he'll be all wet again. I'm going to change another outfit. Three outfits in a day today. And we're going to do elemental again, okay? I'm just going to keep playing since you seem to like it, okay? Yeah, put that there and sit there the way you're supposed to sit. Oh, I like that. I like that. Good job. Where's your, where's your, where's your buddies at? Stuffed animals. You just squish your pits. Yeah, back at it again. It's a hit. I knew this movie would be a hit for him. He really, really is thinking it. He watched the whole thing. There you go. You got your guys, man. You got your friends, huh? Yeah, my man. I'm glad you're using uh, something to sit on there. Don't get all wet. Yeah, there's nothing in there now. Daddy cleaned it all up because he won't stay out of it. There's nothing fun in there now. Just clothes that you threw all over the place, the tiny little bit I have over here. Yeah, no, see, that's what happens when daddy has the problem solved. You know, I gotta constantly clean up. Now, now leave the clothes. You're not taking all the clothes off the hooks again. Now, now we're out of the bag or whatever. Come on, dude. Brody, there's nothing in here. Please shut the door. What you doing, Bigfoot? He's looking for anything he can get into. <laughs> Your feet almost fit in those damn clothes. They're size 13, man. You got what? You're going to be big foot, man. Big feet, man. Oh, I'll try to stand that. It's adjustable. You're going to break it, man. You're going to break something here, sir. Come on. Don't break my flip flops either. Now, now, now. You're not climbing. Now, get down. Stay here. Uh, come on, Brody. I want him to try to get him to sit down there. He won't. Because Beckham took over his spot. He is so hyper. The energy you have, child. I don't get it, man. That's like how you are all day. <laughs> but you like this movie, I'm glad. We found something else to watch besides Marcin. He hasn't asked me to change it yet. <laughs> He's running back and forth going, fuck wild, man. He's going to be up all night again tonight. <laughs> He's running back and forth and jumping on the trampoline. <laughs> <laughs> you can hear it, right? <laughs> hey, Brody, how you doing? Ugh, I'm just afraid he's going to have a meltdown. I don't know. He's gonna, you're going crazy out here, bro. What are you doing? Oh, no wonder you're out here having time. You're, like, you're throwing spaghetti over the top of the roof. This is no, man. Come on, bro. Come on, Brody. Oh, God. Beckham, turn it down, please. It's a lot of sensory for him. He's like, loving it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah, sensitive knees. I have sensitive knees. You do not. God almighty. The hyperness of those times. That's why I let him do this again, because he's not going to stop, no matter what you do. And then he eventually eats it anyway. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I wish you would do it with the brain case. You got to get more of those things. And then again, I got to pick up every little piece. I can't vacuum them up. Oh, boy, Bertie, you are hyper today. What's going on, man? Is it the new stimming of the movie Elemental? Yeah, man, I haven't seen you this hyper at all. Oh, and then that one's down there going crazy, too. I got my laptop right here. I gotta watch him. What's he doing? We gotta check on him. This is no, though, Bertie. Bertie, Bertie, calm down. Now he's gonna go in that bedroom. Right hey. Turn it down, please. I can hear myself all the way upstairs. Turn it down. Down more. More, more, more. Oh, my God, these kids. They need to get out of the house. That's the problem. It's a good thing that reaches there, huh? How you doing? You good? You doing art? You're very hyper, both of y'all. Oh, my God. Jesus, Bertie. Oh, thank God. It's just plain spaghetti. Okay. But this is no. I wish one day you could stop doing this. Hyper challenge you. But hey, if he's happy, where is him now? I'm gonna fall asleep maybe at a reasonable time. Better than water. Now your butt's all wet from sitting in that chair. Stop! Oh, and I just. No! Stop! You can't do that! 
You can't spit water on the floor. It's no, okay? This is no. I don't care about the spaghetti, but this is really no. Okay, you gotta calm down, bro. Oh my lord. Jesus, mother. Came in here and spit it on the floor to the real birdie. Yeah, put this over here. You came right in and took it. This is a, oh, hell no. Are you kidding me right now? You kidding me right now, right? He better be in the house right now. What is this? Did he squeeze through here? He did, didn't he? No, he didn't. His head can't fit through. Get in the house now. Get in the house. I got to find your brother. You guys got to stop misbehaving. I, I can't take it anymore. If he's outside, we're in trouble now because he could be gone. You know, like, this is the shit I'm talking about. You guys just don't stop misbehaving. I can't take it. That's just great. He's outside somewhere. Wonderful. He could be dead. You know, I'm, I'm really just sick of this shit. Rebecca, this has to be locked from now. I can't do this anymore. The kid just doesn't stop misbehaving all day. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I just don't know what to even say. Beckham, you better get your ass over here wherever you are. I hope he's upstairs right now. Let's go find Beckham. God damn it. Ugh. Hold on a second. Great, he's at the neighbor's house, you know? This is the stuff we're talking, at least he went in the house. Now we gotta make sure Brody doesn't run off. Get your butt outside now, let's go Beckham. That was no. This is no, don't ever do this ever again. Thank you so much. Good, dude. That's about it. He's gotta learn though, he can't be doing this. You cannot leave your house like that and open doors and do bad stuff like this. This is no. Don't ever do that again. This is the second time you've done this. I'm thankful you went in his house and didn't leave, but you can't do that. And now your brother's out here. I gotta lock the back door from out there from now on. That's what I used to do with, her, with Rebecca. She, she wanted me to not to do that. But like, you know, that's the way it's gotta be. I can't believe you squeezed your head there. Yo, yo, hey. Pick up the tablet, get out, both of you. Get out of here, you're done in here. You don't ever get to come in here again. Get out, get out. That could have been deadly. I'm just thankful that you're understanding you can't run away. You can't run, Brody, I don't care, we're not going outside. Look, you two are on the freaking going crazy in here. You're driving me nuts. Don't ever do that again. I'm not kidding with you. Don't do that. You're putting your life on the line, your brothers, and everything else. From now on, I lock it out here and put the bar up. You can't go in here. This is no. Without me, you do not do that. That's all you have to say to me is water? How about I'm sorry? I'm sorry, Daddy. I shouldn't have left the house. Now that I know your head can squeeze there, I'm locking it up from out there and walking around. You cannot do stuff like that. You're going to get killed. Last time he did this, he was, this was like two years ago. I think over two years, it was two years ago. Almost two years ago, a little, I don't remember. It was a long time ago, it was two years ago probably. And he ran all the way down the main street. He used to just keep running. He wouldn't stop running. That was his eloping thing. But from now on, I lock this from in here. You guys don't know how to behave, man. I don't know what else to do. So now you have no option to come through. I have to walk around. This is crazy, man. Crazy that he does this kind of stuff. He moved a chair and he did that. So I'm gonna put that back in there. It's so no, Beckham, no. I should know the better. They're, they're just acting up like crazy today because they're cooped up. They don't want to be in the house anymore. I can't be away from you for minutes at a time. As soon as I sit down, you're up to no good. You're going to bed shortly, okay? We're done today. While I go lock that, that bedroom door is open, I think. I'm going to walk around. Do not misbehave. I need a minute to walk around. You can see he tried to get into here. So what I, like I said, I want to make sure there's a stool out here so and teach him that. So he goes in here and this is his safe spot if he ever gets out again. I know as ridiculous as that sounds, I'd rather him come into here than to run off or go into neighbor's houses. So I got to do that with him privately to teach him how to do this. No, I wouldn't be surprised if he's in there right now trying to do the same thing. Like, I'm not even kidding. Like, this is what he does. He's a repeat offender. He just keeps going. No, you're good. Okay. I think I made my point very clear to not do that again. Don't even put a smile on your face. That was now. I think it's time for bedtime. What do you think, bedtime now? You're okay, you can sit with me, but this is no too, like this is what I'm talking about. I, I shouldn't have to stand here and watch every little move you do. Now you see the bar is unnecessary. He can't get out because it's locked from the other end, but I put the bar here too and it's locked in another door. I gotta put a better lock on there though, but it's, you know, no one can get in there out. What's wrong with you? No, I know, because you got excited to go outside. We're not going outside. I know, Beckham, thank you, buddy. Now you got him all. Brody, calm down, calm, calm down. Ow, don't throw things at Oh man, that's it. You guys are both going in the room. I'm done with both of you. Good night, we're both gonna get Beckham, so we're going in the room.
you know, it's not kind of bedtime now. It's seven o'clock. Go to bed. You want to leave the house? You don't get to stay up. I'm sorry. You get to go behind your locked bedroom door. So I'm gonna leave. And you got your brother up there having a major meltdown because you, you made it be seem like we were gonna go outside, and now we're not. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All done. It's not funny. I don't think any of that was funny at all. He was laughing. He thinks it's all funny. It's horrible. I wish you could understand how dangerous that was, what you just did. Baby, it's, what time is it? Bedtime. Noses. I love you. I'm just thankful nothing happened to you, but I'm very angry with you and upset and terrified of you and what could happen to you. you leave now. He, he was just destroying his head on the wall up there. I, I hope there's no hole in it. I hope his head's okay. Here, you can sip this. Drink it. Come on. You're too much, Brody. You're too much. Get up. Get up. You're going to split your head open on the back of that thing over there. Get up. Here, drink. 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 Please calm down. Just calm down. Don't dump it on the ground. I'll take it away from you. You go to your room. What do we say before bedtime? What do we say? I love you. I love you too. Sweet dreams. I'm glad you're okay, but you you, you got to really stop with this stuff. That's all. That, you caused, again, you caused the whole scene there. Meltdown, all kinds of stuff. Now he's going to do this now for the next half hour. Come on, you're going to come sit and watch Elemental Monsters, Inc. with me. Let's go. Come on. I'll give you a moment. You let me know. All right, I was going to let you stay down here and hang out, but let's go upstairs into the bedroom and watch it in there, okay? Did you get it out of your system now? All the head bangs knock some sense into you. <laughs> you okay? That's a lot, buddy. So dad just cleaned up. we we'll go down here. This is, yes, yeah, so everything's cleaned up. So let's go upstairs. That way you run back and forth from the room dad's in. Sleeping in when he's here and we're hanging out. In. Okay, my old room. You, I don't want to hear a word out of you. Be quiet. Behave. You cause a lot of problems and endanger people's lives like that back home. Don't ever do it again. All right, elemental again, huh? You like this movie, huh? It's a good movie, huh? Yeah, you, you, buddy, you were hitting your head really. No, you don't like this movie? <laughs> I think he's just doing it because of the lights on him. Elemental, here we go again. Calm, calming. But then the fire might have been the reason why he's on a stimulant wild child today. <laughs> I like those yawns you got going there. He joined me in the bed. <laughs> I like the yawns. Elemental was almost over. Oh, so much for being tired. Mm -hmm. Went and got some floor hallway spaghetti and we're doing our <laughs> Hell, hyper kid. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Oh, the kicking in the bed. Oh, Jesus. All right, we moved downstairs. He's gonna watch Monsters Inc. down here because he's still not tired, and I'm exhausted, and I need to like check care of myself. And plus, he's got spaghetti all over the place. He wants more food, but he's got to take care of that spaghetti. I can't even give him a cup of water. He just continues to keep jump dumping it on the floor. How you doing in here? I want to check you. Where are you? You're doing good, all right? Can I just check you? Because I gave you a long lasting, but I didn't check you. You could have eaten something over at John's house. Who knows what you were doing over there? Yeah, all right, what do you got? 68. Oh, Jesus Christ. I gotta give you something here. Oh, this is all right. You got to keep that plugged in now, okay? Just keep an eye. Dad's going to get a quick shower. And now you're in here. I want to keep you in here, but I'm afraid you're going to have a meltdown. I love you, sweet dreams. You're going to stay in here? You gonna stay? Okay, good. I love you, sweet dreams. And now you're crying. I don't understand. You just shut the door on me. What the? <clears throat> oh my god! I just don't understand these kids. You shut the door on me. Why are you crying? Stop. What are you gonna do, bro? Are you staying in here or not? He's staying in here. Wait. It's up to you. Do you want to come out? But you cannot. Wait. Okay, go. Go watch your monsters in. Plug it in. Go plug it in. It's gonna die. Plug it in. No, in this room, in this room, right? No way are you coming out here together with him. Plug it in the wall, Beck. Beck, and plug it in. Come here. Plug I don't care. Let it pass. I don't care. Don't listen to me. All ice. Yeah, I know. You want to just keep dumping it and making a mess. It's horrible. It's not. So all ice, no water for him. Let it say drip. It's the best I can do. It's too much. It's too much energy, man. Here. 
It's all ice. Yeah, there's, <laughs> it's gonna slowly melt. Here, I got one cube for you now. Here, here, cube, ice cube, here. You have this one. Okay, one ice cube. Hydrate. No, I'm not putting water in it. No, it's got ice now, and I put it on super tight. You'll probably still get it off. I just still worry about him throwing it at the television. He's he's gonna. I don't know, man. After Beckham today, I feel like that's next. I need you to pick all this up. Eat it or pick it up. All this. No, I'm not giving you a cup. It's there's ice in there. It's, no, I don't want it. Yeah, I know. That's all you want to do. No. How you doing there with the spaghetti? Carpet spaghetti. Nah, I'm not going to the pantry. Nope, nope. I know what you're trying. No, not available. No, no. Drink that. Yeah, that has water in it. I want to keep taking away from you. We're not taking it to dump water, though. Nope. All right, I gave it, and I gave him some grapes. As long as it's fruit, it's fine. Make sure you eat all them in front of me. Those big grapes, man. The size of these things. Jesus. There's the yellow cup, mostly ice. There is water in there, though. Now you can drum with the red cup as well. All right, more grapes. Won't let me leave. More grapes. Quick check in real quick. You good? You finished the grapes? Good. Where's the red cup? It's upstairs. Go get it so you can do your drumming. What do you need? Why are you kicking the door? It's not funny. I'm not laughing at any of this. What? What do you need? Why are you leaving? Do you need to go potty? Do you need to go potty? Okay. Just run off. Okay. Don't answer me. Tablet's unplugged. Wads of spaghetti, huh? Who did poopies? Who you even ask mom for food? You know, she's not going to give it to you. You're being bad today. What are you trying to get from here? I have to give you insulin now. What do you want? How about a cheese? String cheese. Get a cheese. Now, see, I'm not making food at nine. Ugh, come on, back on. Take this and drink this here. This is the leftover milk that you didn't dump on the couch today. Now you need insulin. Go to bed. All right, we'll set this up, but I'm not changing the milk. I'll wait till we... Again, with the milk, this is not, no. This is not your milk. This is his milk. You just drank a milk. Stop. And you're tapping it and getting it all over the place. I like that you're doing the vertical tablet, though, that I showed you. Finally picking that up, huh? Who's got poopy? I think someone pooped or it's farts. I can't tell, but I don't want to have to change it two more times. I want to change it once and that's it. Yeah, Dad is physically and mentally exhausted from today. The behavior with you two today. You guys, I get it. You're bored. Your kids are going to act up. But, man, running out of the house, that's a whole other, that's a whole issue that... Too much, man. He's smart. He gets out, finds a ways out. He'll find another one soon, too. Unfortunately, that's what he does. It's all his goal is when he's in the looper. Um, I give you the wrong amount. I apologize. I gotta do it twice. I'm sorry. My bad. Because I'm distracted. Because I'm mad too. Because I'm exhausted. I haven't messed that up in about over a year or two. It's just I've never done that. I just messed up. So I'm so I love you. But y'all gotta get on the schedule here with me, man. And start listening to me. Or you're gonna be living in your bedrooms. You ain't gonna be coming out much. You gotta eat this and then you gotta go upstairs. You gotta be separated. You can't be down here with him because I only know what's gonna happen if I'm out the garage right now for a little bit. Now you can't be left downstairs by yourself. Okay, then bedtime. Yes, now. Get upstairs now. Finish the food and get upstairs. You are not being left down here by yourself. You're fine, but you cannot be down here by yourself. I'm not doing this with you, Beckham. I'm not doing this with you. Damn, yeah, Mom, you're here. Why aren't you down here helping? Stop. You want him in bed? Let's go. Up. No, you need... Yeah, he's got your tablet now. Yeah, he's got your tablet. Then you better get it and go upstairs. Take it and go upstairs. Take it. Go upstairs. Go upstairs to your room now. Bed. Go upstairs to your bed. Upstairs. Or get... Yo, if you don't get upstairs right now, I'm taking the tablet from you. Look. I'm at the breaking point with you today. Upstairs, now. What do you need from me? What else do you need? It's going for 10 o'clock, buddy. Bedtime. Good night. Oh, my God. Thanks, Rebecca, for all the help. Please? Yeah, my man. Hey, hey. I'm not laughing. You kick the door. Plug that in now. Plug it in before it dies. Plug it in. I'm taking it from you then, okay? All done with the tablet then. All done. All done. Plug it in, because it's going to die, and you're going to kick the door more. Plug it in. Behave. No, man, I'm not happy with you today. You think I'm going to leave you downstairs alone with your brother when the way you acted today? Behave. Watch the TV. 
It's time to lay in your room. Stop. God, he just doesn't stop, man. Just doesn't stop. Just no, no controlling this child whatsoever. I'm so tired. Man. Here, you stay here. This is mostly ice. Look at you. You're just shredding spaghetti on the couch, man. Like, what are you doing? Why? There's other things to stim with, Brody. All right, I sat down for 10 minutes now. Let's go check on Brody. Just to de-escalate a little bit here. He's being really good. Let's see it's towards the end of the movie. Oh. oh, no, another movie's on. And you're doing that? Okay, that's fine, I guess. But you're calm. Still gotta do diaper changes. Let's put on Monsters University though, okay? You good? You're calm? Yeah, you're calm. That's why I leave you down here by yourself. Your brother's too much, buddy. He's, he's gotta change his attitude towards everything. Wish I could give him that book. I'm going to the bathroom here. He like wants me to hang out with him and everything. I don't have it in me. I gotta figure out something for him to be entertained in the room at night. Like maybe a projector mounted up on the ceiling so somewhere. Like that it can't be broken. Cause he can't have a tablet. He's gotta have some kind of entertainment in there because Beckham won't let him have the TV and then Beckham will have his meltdown. So that's the only other solution I come up with is something projector because he can't break the projector. I mean, he can break the projector, but he can't break the screen, the wall. It'll be on just the wall. <laughs> like I can play Elemental now, Monsters Inc., the candy videos, and I can control it from somewhere, you know, Streamcast. I gotta figure something out for him because he just, he needs sensory all the time, man. And then Beckham, he's just behavioral. I mean, he's very intelligent, as you can see. Figuring out how to get out of the house, and that's the problem. The windows, I glued those shut, put bars on them. But unfortunately, there's still ways. I know if he pushes hard enough, the stronger they get, they can break those spots that I filled in with glue because they fold down to clean them from the other side. I gotta look into something where there's just like a whole screen so they can have air in the room, maybe like a metal screen, you know what I mean? Like just bolted on there like it looked like a prison in there from the inside but uh, i don't know man i would love for them to be able to get air in their room you know besides through the vents like through this through the windows itself but you saw one time they knocked the screens out of the windows it's, it's uh it's been tough man i think once school starts and get a better routine with them it'll be easier i understand mom doesn't want to interact with them all the time she's tired from work and i get that completely I mean, every parent goes through all this stuff it's just, it's exhausting, man. Kids are exhausting. And then two autistic kids and one that needs insulin all day. It's just, it's exhausting. And you feel like you failed, when you raise your voice, I'd be yelling on here. But it's real. Like, I'm not going to hide that. I do yell at my kids. I'm going to yell. I haven't been spanking them at this point. It just doesn't work. Uh, I, I, mean, I spank them once in a while with a light pad and he laughs at me now. It's like, <laughs> dude, I'm not going to hit him at all. I'm going to spank him. But he's got a diaper. It doesn't work. The best thing to do is to try to explain to him why you can't do that, but the being nonverbal and not understanding all the way at seven and eight. I think we have them, you know, it's kind of like three year olds, four year olds. I don't know. I don't know. These are my only thoughts. I mean, therapists and perform care and all those, when they were here, it was the same stuff when they were like two years old, three, same behavior patterns that I, I had memories pop up before. It was the same stuff happening. It just, it's a, just the thing they do. And they couldn't resolve it. There's nothing you can do. You have to, Try to figure it out the best you can, keep them safe until hopefully when they're a little older, they'll start to understand. Instead of Beckham saying this is no, I'm gonna tell them this is dangerous. Like, this is dangerous. Like, you get hurt. Like, leaving your house, like, dangerous. Really dangerous. <sighs> He's using that as a drum and a stem. So, something he loves to do. I, don't, I can't stop him. I don't know how. There's no way I can. He's always gonna do this. Spaghetti seems to be the easiest thing to clean up for me. He's okay with shredding it, I guess. Look, he's even found a way to still shred it into little tiny grains of sand. Oh boy. What are you doing? You're making a couch fort. Yeah, you ready for bed yet or what? You wearing yourself out? Man, you get muscles, buddy. Leg muscles, arm muscles. I'm not going to the pantry with you. What is this crap, right? What is this? Oh, this is what you shredded and dumped a little water on it too, huh? My favorite. You ready for bed? Want to do a diaper change in bedtime? Oh, great, you're wet too. Awesome, might have to type in your third outfit today. You dumped water on yourself, didn't you? That's definitely not from the pee, there's no way. All right, buddy. I'll give you a little bit more time, okay? 
don't get used to this freedom because once school starts buddy you got a week till school and then you're back in the, the grind here okay but i'm not giving you any more food okay that's it How about, how about an apple? You want an apple? All right, so no apple. You want more grapes? Okay, here. Okay, don't don't dump them out. Give me the, give me the grapes. Here, give me the grapes. Give me the grapes. And that's why I didn't change it, because I know you're still hungry. He's, just, he's eating a lot, man. He's a grown boy. Right, I'm going to sit here while you eat these, though, because I don't trust these. I don't need you choking on them. And I'm going to give you this apple, too. Okay? That's good, though. Apples and... And grapes instead of candy. I like it. Good job. Dad's going to pick this up, even though you'll probably rip it all up again. I think he likes the way this feels, which I get. It feels cool and it's bouncy. You know, actually, no, I'm not picking it up. We'll wait until he's in bed. All right, one more grape to eat. You ate them quick. Oh, boy, man, he scarfed this. Just whatever you do, do not throw it at the television. So I'd never want to have to put a big plexiglass screen over top of this. At least not now. You good now? High five? High five? You good? Where's my high five? Hey, high five? High five. Yeah, you happy boy. Good. Eat the fruit and vegetables. Excuse me. Fruit. Good. Enjoy. Walk back in. Make sure I lock that. It's locked. All right, back in again. Let's check on the bowling. Hey, what is that? I just stepped on. Oh, I stepped on. Oh, you ate that whole apple. I just stepped right on it. Where's he at? What's he got? Oh, he's got stuff from the dishwasher. Again. I'm sure there was a way I could have locked that. I gotta figure out how to lock that too. Can we switch that for spoons, okay? I know you're doing your drumming, okay? I'm gonna find you something else. Let's find him two clean things. Oh, actually, the dishwasher is clean. I didn't empty it today. But again, this is a risk with him with the television. I just hope he never taps on here. Switch with these. May I see these? You take those two little spoons, okay? Are you like an indestructible television or an indestructible tablet? But I have to figure out, I'm gonna have to put plexiglass on this. I know I'm gonna have to. Just like in your bedroom, I'm gonna have to do something with it. But to make it look modern so it doesn't look like a kid's room. We'll figure it out. They have outdoor television kits, but they're expensive. But it'd be worth it. Yeah, you do the tapper tapper. Our little drummer man. I love you. As long as you're happy, not hitting your head. I love it. I'm not sure where we got him from. In here. Alright, we'll leave this out here. Maybe an animal eagle. If not, leave it out there. Biodegradable. My man, he happy boy. Hi, happy boy. How you doing? How's the old TV still intact? You good? You still got your drums? Yeah, you're tapping with the spoons, my little drummer. Oh, you got another spoon. I see you got three. <laughs> so you found another one. Okay, you do you, buddy. I gotta go pee pee. What are you doing? What are you doing? What do you want? Oh, we ain't going out there, brother. It's 11 something at night. Nah, my man. No, come on, Brody. Come on, man. Come on, no, come on, I know, I know. This, this is no, this is no. The problem with me coming in and out, I know. Go back to where you came from. Put that thing back where you came from, or so help me. Beckham, I don't want to hear you. What do you need? What would you like, sir? Are you ready for bed? It is after 11 now. Come on, we're going for 11.30. What do you want? Mama, I ain't bad. What do you want? Right here again. One more grapes, apples. Oh! What do you want? Dad, right, show me. You want some more grapes, right? Grapes and apples, huh? I oh, know, you're hungry. You're a hungry, hungry child. You're going to be 6'9", right? Seven feet tall. You're going to be the, the next uh, Bruiser Brody here. <laughs> All right, here you go. Autistic and growing like crazy. You are a big boy. Oh, you threw the root on the ground there. Oh, eat more grapes. Okay, let's get you some more. Let's get you some more. I'm not gonna lie, I'm very impressed with these grapes. They're like grapes on steroids, man. 
This is gonna make you poopy. I hear your brother up there. Let's hope he stays in behavior because he's still in the diaper change too. Oh boy. The longer you stay up though, the longer and the less of a risk, excuse me, the less of a risk there is of the duty in the morning and all over the walls and I don't wanna deal with that. Stay up, I hear your brother. Mike Wazowski. All right, so Birdie's still awake. It's literally 11.30 at night. Beckham's still awake, he's up there doing a stomp thing. Mom and I have been communicating through the night. I was trying to problem solve as well, had ideas. Because I would like to create a business out of like a box truck and do something I can do for people. And I was thinking of her business. She, she does lashes for a living. Like puts lashes on people, but she does skincare as well. But she doesn't really do the skincare as well. I don't think she does has a lot of clients for that. It's more lashes. So I was like, why don't you just, instead of paying, I don't know. I think she leases this car for like four or 500 a month. And then insurance is like four. It's like $800 a month, I think. Six to $800 a month for that car. Then her business in like a kiosk complex type place, it's like $1,400 a month. Why not just lease a vehicle that you can create your business out of? Instead of calling it Lash and Glow, call it Lash and Go, whatever, Lashes on the Go. You can even create an application, start your own application business and get other women on there, men too. I thought about times of like, hey, teach me how to do lashes for people. I'll come here on the side hustle and do it, I don't know. I know it takes a lot of concentration, steady hands. My father was a jeweler. I'm a videographer, you gotta have steady hands. And unfortunately, my hands are steady, even though this finger is ugly. <laughs> it's falling apart from <laughs> Ferdy back and the wall. Is that a good idea or what? I don't know. I think it's a really good idea. I uh, just search it, and there's, there's, no, uh, there's no applications for people to get lashes, drive up lashes. And I also thought about drive up tanning businesses, but I mean, you gotta pay the taxes on that stuff. But again, you could have a whole vehicle where you pull up and do beauty on that stuff with like lashes especially tanning i don't know there's a whole tax thing with that nonsense with the tanning bulbs and crap but um i think it's a pretty good idea so i'm speaking to the camera now to remember this lash and go lashes only go i don't know whatever the fact that you can go let me just call this number and all of a sudden or go on this application and somebody pulls up and does my lashes for me or for a wedding party whatever and then you can expand your business from not just this local area where people pull up in Deptford, whatever, in New Jersey. So you can like drive anywhere to New York where clients are through the roof, I'm sure. It might be lower cost, whatever. I don't know, you could hire people to work with you. I'd expand, 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 expand. I don't know, just thoughts. Is this boy still up and the other one's still up and I'm just losing my mind and I'm just thankful that I have wrestling and the news and the, the computer. I still gotta edit the vlog, it's just, I don't know. I said this is my zen this is like where i calm down at and as long as he's happy and he's not banging his head and that's one of the main reasons why i've been keeping him down here why beckham's upstairs because beckham's been influencing him to do bad things and causing birdie stress but then again if they get separate rooms it causes more problems because like they they want to be around each other all the time i don't know just speaking the camera as you should when you vlog but you do it, your thoughts you go with what you think and how you feel don't ever be afraid to express yourself. Never mind, I get a text from, please put him to bed, this is ridiculous, he's keeping me awake. Not into reality at all, but the autistic son. I'll keep that business mind to myself and create my own business. Where you at? Let's go. Mom says time for bed. I agree. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Bedtime. Let's change in. You go to bed. Come on. Let's go. You need a diaper change. Yeah, I know. Man, we got to do all this nonsense. Okay. No, we're turning this off. I know you still want to drum. Not my house. I'm going to play, buddy. I'll let you stay up on my own. Okay. Get these guys. Let's go. Come on. It's bedtime. Brody, let's go. Come on. Let's go. Okay, I, I love you. We'll find something you can stem with that you that you don't have to do this, that won't break or stab you. I want to get them drumsticks, but they'll probably break and poke them. Let's go, come on. Up, no. This way. This way. Up the stairs. Bed time. No, we're not sitting here now. Yeah, turn it on. Let's go. Pick them up. Let's go. Fresh diaper. Let's go. Come on, your brother's up there too. Okay, you can take that upstairs with you. Let's go. Yeah, easy. 
sure he'll be happy to see you. Hey, hi. Let's leave. I know you're happy. To, oh, boy. Okay. We're going to do black light, okay? It's plugged in. I love you. Sweet dreams. Yeah. Okay, we'll put this, this, this light on, though. There we go. The blue light. Bedtime. I see you tomorrow, okay? I love you. I don't smell poop, so I know he's good, but I don't know about you. You you look fine. See you in the morning. Sweet dreams. And this, I don't even know what the hell this is. You know, kid, you know. All right, cats, be free. Enjoy. Yeah, I'm just making sure I clean up so you don't do duties on there, okay? That's all. I know, I know, because we like to do duties on furniture and stuff. If these weren't here, you probably would poop on that black part of the, of the cushions there, you know what I mean? This is yes. I already saw you and him. Where's the Creechy? How you doing, Creechy? How you doing? How you feeling, buddy? You feel good? Who's been pooping on the floor? Who's been doing the poops on the floor, huh? Who's been pooping on the floor? Is it you? I know it's you and you. All right, time to edit real quick. All right, I wanted to uh, hug you boys before you went to bed there, but uh, mom's a little overwhelmed with y'all. I said it's ridiculous, you're still up, I get it, but I mean, you got special needs kids, I mean, that's the reality of it, man. But she's also gotta go to work all the time. I was like, gave her an idea for a business, I don't know. I don't know, I'll never win. I'll never win here. All I know is the kids are healthy. They have a roof over their head. Mom, we do appreciate that. Uh, I just have to keep my mouth shut, but <laughs> I don't know. She knows. <laughs> I asked you a diaper. You didn't come downstairs. You complain. Wait, like, you know, come on, come help me, man. This isn't a one, this isn't a one person job here, man. We're going on like 14 to 16 hour days with the kids, man. I think once school starts, it'll get a lot easier for, for myself and her. Of course, them. But uh, anything to keep Birdie from banging his head into the wall. And unfortunately, I mean, I'm in these groups like constantly uh, with special needs kids, and it is common. And I'm doing the right thing, and I'm not going to stop doing the right thing. If my kids are going to hurt themselves, you have to be there for them. It will exhaust you, but I found my zen. I sit here, I watch wrestling, I edit, you know, I'm just sitting here relaxing. It, this is my time. Like, I'll breathe and just relax. It's nice. Um,. Hopefully they stay in bed. It is midnight. As I get that is ridiculous, but I can't control the kids if there's no melatonin here. I don't tell you. That's how they are. Uh, and this is beginning. There's seven and eight. Double that time. 14 and 16. You know what I mean? They're teenagers, puberty, all of it's it's gonna hit, man. I had a friend of mine, she literally has two her one son's actually a special needs autistic child, the other one's kinda on the spectrum. She just vanished. She's like, I'm done. Left her kids and dropped them off at her mother's house one day. So I'm done. Here you go. Please help me. And just left and disappeared for months, man. That's how much a, a, a kid can do to you, or two kids can do to you. Two boys, boys, or a lot. And when you don't have family around to help you, like there is no village here. I don't know what to say, man. I will speak the truth. I don't care. You don't like it, I'm here, I'm taking care of them. If I left, it'd be an ordeal. So I stay here, take care of them, make sure things are okay, I'll sit out here, I don't mind doing that. But at the same time, it's like I could be having personal time, but I'm not really concerned with that, I'm more concerned with their well-being at this point. Brody especially. Beckham, he's just behavioral. Beckham's not really hurting himself, he does it for attention. I'm like, ah, a little tap on things and nonsense, but he's gotta deal with that diabetes all day, man. And he's telling me his eye hurts, and I understand that, man, so. It's hard, man. But then again, thankful for you too. And I'm thankful you guys don't have more serious situations. Like people that have really, really extreme handicapped kids, man. And I'm thankful that that is not our situation. Because uh, like it's like 80% or 90% of families split up because they have disabled kids. Special needs kids. Autism is tough, man. My sons are very in shape. <laughs> They're like stiffing all like, But I, I just, I can't be fake about this man i've never been a fake person man i'm here taking care of them non-stop i don't live here legally i gotta walk to another place i gotta come back in the morning it's gonna rain oh you... 
Oh, nice. Just don't hope dad never has a meltdown where he disappears for a long period of time. So uh, here's two months. Dad's gone. Good luck. <laughs> See you in two months. Because I know I can't realistically do that. And I wouldn't. I would hope with time it gets better. I'm coming up with solutions for for Brody and Beckham when it takes time. And those videos do help. But I also think sometimes with Beckham, it influences him to misbehave, unfortunately. But either way, he, he's finding random videos on, on YouTube where he's misbehaving on other people's behavior. It's, it's wild. He's very, very intelligent. Like, it blows me away. And I'm thankful for my neighbor, John, over here that did not get upset about that because some people would get upset about a kid that's randomly going to their house and turning on all their TVs and trying to eat their food and do all the nonsense. And I was just like, oh, I, was like, I wanted to go in and grab him at the same time if I didn't, didn't have the view of the of the side of the house where Brody, all the doors were unlocked. I can't just go run over and let me go lock them all because it wouldn't work. I don't know. Like I said, it's exhausting. I don't know. It's They need full entertainment, full attention all the time. And when they don't get that full attention, their outside time with dad, they start to act up. Uh, but again, I love you boys. The best things ever happened to me. As much stress you caused me, I love you dearly. Please go to bed. Don't wake your mom up. Go to bed. Even if it's the next night when you see this, go to bed. Stop waking your mom up in the middle of the night. Okay? Please. Go to bed. Sweet dreams. Take care.